What is up guys, this is Kobe here and welcome to episode 2 of the 2023 reboot series. I'm just over here chilling in Shangri-La right now. You know, we got the elders because I'm this high up of a being. But uh, kind of talk about like the release of last episode or what I put in the description. I put in like a little bit of a schedule of how I expect these episodes to be released. I know the dates I put in are Thursdays instead of Wednesdays because I think these videos might lean more towards Thursday releases now, um, maybe. So this video I'm expecting to be out probably around like the 20th of April or so. But I've decided to just do a video every two weeks and each video I cover a major event that is going on in the game at the moment. Well, I mean, it's not always a major event, especially right now. The current event right now is far from major, but it's pretty much the only event going on. So in today's episode, we have the Magic Stone Slab. This event sucks. So pretty much what this is, this is the UI of it, right? Um, you collect these candies from monsters every single day. You collect up to 300 per day. And they have around the same drop rate as like the soils from the strawberry farm, which I think is around 100 or 2k mobs to collect 100. Um, you need to get 100 to check in for the daily, but you can collect up to 300 per day to be able to use. So 300 would probably take about like 6k mobs to cap out on on average. I have 430 total candies, and as you can see, what you can do with these candies is assign a buff. You can put in however much boss, IED, EXP, or normal monster damage you want, and you can set it for a certain duration. Um... So this number here is how many candies it will cost in as well as this number here for how long you want it to last. So if I want maximum boss, which is 40 boss, it's going to cost me 80 candies, but I can only use it for five minutes because it costs an extra 10 candies to, for it to last five minutes. And I cannot spend any more than 100 candies per buff. I'll be using it at some bosses this week. I suppose probably wouldn't be a bad idea just has a little bit of extra temp stats if i wanted to have it last 30 minutes then and if i wanted to spread out boss and ied then i'd be able to get a total of 25 for both and that would last 30 minutes if i want to narrow it down to 15 then i can get an extra five percent more boss that's not worth it at all that's so garbage i swear like what, what even is this I want more EXP to grind. You want 40% EXP? Sorry, you could only use it for 5 minutes. Bruh. <laughs> you want to bring it down a little bit? Okay, cool. 30%. Now you can use it for 30 minutes. What? Bruh, just give me Tim stats. I know 20th anniversary is coming up, but just, just give me Tim stats, dude. This event's stupid. Anyway, every single day you collect 100 candies, you are rewarded with EXP tickets. You get 300 per day, and you can only collect it for a total of 10 days. So this event in general gives a total of 3,000 EXP tickets. So you know the Rock Spirit event going on on GMS right now, probably Maple Sea as well. Um, the EXP tickets are the exact same thing as here. So you get 3,000 of them in this event. So this is only like a full level for people who are level 229 and below. Um, level 230 plus characters don't get a full level. I'll probably still just dump them on the buck because... I want the buck to be as high of a level as possible, as soon as possible, so yeah, just up in all the event EXP on here. With that being said, I bring forth some excellent news. I was farming Shawberry Farm uh, the day before it ended, right? And I have some clips of the characters that I trained in the Legion that I got to. I what do What I do not show during this process is how laggy it was on this last day specifically for the reboot server because reboot is so populated nowadays after everything that's been going on uh the shopberry farm has just been having tons and tons of issues and it was full across multiple channels people literally couldn't even get in it was just a frustrating experience for those who waited till last minute unfortunately i was one of the people who waited until last minute i had 29 entries that i needed to go through across five different characters so that's what i ended up doing and it was actually pretty good because after going through all of those entries, I ended up at 8,448 Legion. That is 52 levels away from 8.5. And there's compensation. Because of the lag, they're bringing back Shawberry Farm for another week. But there's a catch though. They're only giving us 100 soils. And uh, that's it. You can't cap soils and mobs anymore. Because you're only supposed to cap for the magic slab event now 
In case you really did want to know, by the way, the Magic Sub event takes place with the, the Pardon Boys. Uh, I don't know if any of you have done the Pardon Theme Dungeon. I know I haven't. Um, but just in case, there you go. Anyway, in order to re-enter the Shawberry Farm now, you have to talk to the Maple Admin. So there's the entry to the map through her, and then the option below was uh, to collect the free 1,000 soils. I'm sorry, 100 soils. Um, what I'm going to do is, it is currently the day before Sunday Maple. I'll figure out what day that is a little later. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is this Sunday Maple, there is a uh, plus 100% rune EXP. That's like 3x EXP plus rune for like four and a half minutes. And the character that I leveled, they don't even let me open my legion here. The level level character that I have is my Kadena that applies for the total levels. So I'm probably going to be using all five runs on the Kadena. I have not done my dailies yet, so I need to go ahead and take care of my dailies on this character. And then once I'm done, I can maybe do a little bit of Kadena gearing so it's ready to do Shawberry form one last time after reset. Yeah, for the other characters, um, got this guy to 171 in 7 runs. The Bishop took 6 runs because it has HS. Uh, the Shadower took 7 runs. The Dual Blade took 7 runs. I don't know why it's a level lower than everyone else. The Witch sucks. And then the Kadena took 2 runs. So, I'm still just going to dump all 5 runs to the Kadena. Fully expecting to maybe, I guess with the Rune, maybe at least like 175. Um, so, I'll probably gain like 30-ish levels on here. Uh, so I'll be almost like 20 levels away from 8.5 and I'm still gonna wait for extreme pots before I get to it Oh, yeah, I think by the end of this episode I may or may not be able to level up hotel arcs to level 8 um, After I do my dailies today, I'll need 11 more days. So we'll just have to see And then I think Sunny will be on track to reach level 10 in episode 3, which is honestly really bizarre because holy crap, I only need one more level left in Cernium. I know Savior increased the daily rates by 5 a day, but... Oh, I can't believe it's getting this close. Alright, Sunday Maple, day 396. Today is not only Rune and Combo or BXP day, but it's also half off in her ability day. I kind of don't want this drop line anymore. As crazy as it sounds, I want to try to go for attack. I looked at the calculator, right? The uh, the suck card inner ability calculator. It says I need eight mil. <laughs> eight mil on an event to go for attack when I'm locking both lines. Uh, crap, dude. I really think I could just like lucker dog this, huh? Like that's just gonna happen. It's gonna be that easy, huh? We'll see. Alternatively, if I am running low, I'll also just keep drop again, even if it is a lower value and unique, or just meso. Um, I'll try like 1 mil or 1.5 mil to purely go for attack, and then after 1.5 mil, I will, um, I'll just go for anything, attack, meso, or drop. At the end of the day, I could ultimately lose, and that would not be good at all. Uh, I really, 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 really wouldn't want to lose. But I have, like, all of the damage lines. I'm missing 1% boss. The only other damage line that I'm missing is attack. Uh, so it'd be really nice if I would hit. I actually don't even know the probability on it. <clears throat> the probability on attack, I think it's um more common than crit rates. Because, yeah, crit is just evil. But if I can land attack, then I'd be, like, ready to go to use... Black Cirques, and I'm probably gonna have to use plenty of Black Cirques to roll the perfect dinner. If I don't get drop rate, well, just get luckier. All it comes down to. So it's on average 80k honor per unique line. And all the unique lines are trash, they're just like jump or, or dual stat, and it's all flat stat too, so it's absolutely terrible. <sighs> Um, so yeah, I, assuming it is about 8 mil, then I want to guess that attack probably has like a 1% chance of showing up on unique. So I gotta hit the 10%, and then I gotta hit the 1%. Yikes, 13 drop, reroll. I might push it to 1 mil for a settle. Um, settling on any unique drop for me, so I'll probably brick my third line, honestly, if I have to. Either bring it or go for an epic. It just kind of sucks to maybe spend all this honor, and I just end up downgrading, and I see a purple line on my stat window. Disgu no way I got 38 buff! This is so stupid, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah. <coughs> this class doesn't even need it. I just got nine attack, which may not may or may not be the best epic line. I'm not sure if it is, but I have 3540 attack. Just took a from that it's effective by percent, but I have 3940 if I reroll. Yeah, I lost 16 attack. So attack on it is pretty good. I got nine again. I'm gonna reroll that. I'll probably also keep Epic Attack for the time being as well, but again, the uh, the Settle Honor amount is under 1 million, so we're gonna keep on pushing it. It's honestly so- it's so goofy because it took me so long to save this honor, and uh, simply one event to wash it away, and I still don't even have anywhere near, like, the average amount of honor to be going for what I wanna go for. I- I, I don't even know what to say about that. Not attack again, but I'm still above a mill. Rules are rules. I'm gonna use up a few more. Alright, officially in the settle category. So, unique drop, unique meso. Okay, okay, right now it's unique. But if I go like below 500k, that's 7% skip by the way, I don't want that. If I go below 500k, then um, I'll probably just settle with like some epics as well. Uh, I think Meso and Drop can either be 8 or 10, and then uh, Unique is uh, 13, 14, 15, I'm not sure if 14 is a thing, pretty sure it is. Um, and then Attack is also kind of, oh wait, that was 6 Attack Epic, uh, that's awkward. <laughs> I was thinking I'd roll 9 again, but I don't know, okay, we're just gonna have to stop at whatever we get. I just rolled 9 drop, but I'm still above 500k, so I didn't want to keep 9 drop yet. I'm telling you, I get all of these like numbers that I'm going to keep at really low honor before I get to that low honor amount. Um, but nah, you know what? Actually, screw it. It's that time. I'm keeping. Gosh, I lost 5 drop? No, I can't do that, dude. I'm telling you, this, there's something in that last little bit of honor. There's, there's got to be something. I never realized how much it sucks to feel that way. It's just like, dang, I lost 5 drop. After spending 2.5 mil, um, it is what it is. I really wish there was a way to buy like honor metal specifically on reboot and not just circulators. I think I'm done. Let's go. We downgraded again. I say again, but I didn't actually downgrade. I, I just keep referring to the slime ring, not hitting what it's supposed to hit. Okay, after inner ability shenanigans, failing that. It's time to uh, go ahead and get this cadena done. So let me go ahead and get that expired coupon out of the storage. I have some coupons that I'll go ahead and put in here. And uh, put it in a little bit of mesos. 200 mil. Definitely more than what I would need. Farming Pencilers at Moon Bunnies. Uh, everything is already Star Forest, but... Ah, doesn't matter. I just want to go ahead and go for full set. And then I'll transfer everything that I currently have. I shall be also sell off some of these items as well. Oh, this guy already has like 80 mil. Um, okay, we use that money too. Got the full set. About five to six minutes with some coupons. Uh, most of them don't really have good flames, but I don't really care. Uh, like this weapon, this weapon flame sucks. Cape flame is pretty good. Hat flame ain't too bad. Um, and I think, yeah, overall is what I need to wear. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's the full set. Since I still have some time on my job coupon left, I'm going to do Zakum see what I end up getting. Boom. Nothing. Nice. So now I'm just gonna probably star for some pencil layers, and then that'll be it. All of them all the way up to 10. It is done. There's a bit of a problem though. Um, now I can only enter Shawberry Farm through the Maple Admin herself. So whenever I get a rune, I have to go back to town and then find the maple admin and talk to the maple admin that's fun at least Hennessy has um the thing on here yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and go back to moon money's look for a rune and korean folk town and then once i find one uh it should be time to go i also don't have the items necessary from storage what am i doing aim this guy extra 40 attack Oh, found a rune. Okay, I just teleported here, so I'm gonna need 10 seconds to prepare myself. Let me just go ahead and pop my buffs. And, um, probably not gonna show any of it, because I, like, I gotta, I gotta speed, you know, like, I gotta go crazy. Oh my goodness, I teleported on that side. Please! Okay, Shawberry Farm, got it. That was quick. Good, 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 good. 
I'm in a party. I cannot believe I get myself by being in a party. Unbelievable. I got the last five strawberry runs right here. Let's see what level I get to. I didn't even pop the 2x coupon. What am I doing, bro? <laughs> now I'm good. My Cadena is super strong, right? But it's not clearing this map very well. Like, this is the part where most of my classes would have cleared already. But I still have like 70, 60, 50 mobs left. It's, it's ridiculous. Probably not going to get out two full runs with runes anymore, but... Um, the second run should be like almost through with the rune. We'll see what level I get to after that. Okay, I just spin this thing and let it go. If I do that, then I actually clear up way more mobs than I, I normally do. So that's uh, that's gonna be the technique this time around. The rune is about to expire. I'll probably, yeah, definitely stay at 163. Um, and then we'll see where I get for the final three runs. Oh my goodness, I'm barely going to hit 175. That is the level I completely expected to hit after the end of all of this. Two mobs left, lock them both, level up. That's crazy. So with the additional 30 levels, like I said, I'd hit 8,478. I am 22 levels away from 8.5, with my lowest level being affected is at 170. Um, pretty nasty stuff. I think if I ever get like a bundle of 10 growth potions from anything, then I'm good to go. I can hit 8.5. I was not sure when or if we're going to be getting that. Probably not. Um, something like that may not happen till anniversary. All right, day 398. I skipped 397 because I didn't really do anything. But today and tomorrow will be bossing days because I haven't done any bosses on any of my characters. So I need to go ahead and get this like 9.5 bill or something out of the way. Um, I think it's going to be around like 9.7 total if I count dailies from today and tomorrow. So I'll probably be at like 16.8 bill, almost 17 bill by the uh, end of the boss week. So how I'll be splitting this is today, um, I'm going to do all three of my boss mules. But before I do that, I'm doing my bucks dailies and I link my bossing links back to do things like MPE and that, that's really all I need for MPE. Um, <laughs> but I will use a set of guild skills and I'll be running Sea Slime. And Sea Slime will probably be the only boss I do on this character. Because um, I need to pop guild skills three times if I want to do all my weeklies in one day. That's about two and a half hours of bossing almost. That's too much. I pretty much pop guild skills for uh, Dark Nell Gloom, you know, those 30 minutes. I pop guild skills for Sea Slime, and then I pop guild skills for Vihila. I think I my main rotation, if I do all my bosses in one day, is Dark Nell, Gloom, Lotus, Damien, Lucid, and then after Lucid, my guild skills should be back up, and then I go into Sea Slime, and then after Sea Slime, I do Will, and then after Will, I have to wait a little bit, and then once my guild skills are back up, I do Vihila, and I'm done. See, so yeah, I only really need guild skills for Sea Tennies and Sea Slime. Um, I, I think if I just go ahead and pop them for Sea Slime, and then I just do my dailies tomorrow, then, um, I can just pop my guild skills after dailies, and then I can go through the entire bossing cycle, like I normally do, skipping Sea Slime, so I just pop G skills for H Dark and Sea Gloom, and then I go through all my other bosses, and then by the time I get to Vihila, they'll be back up for me to use a Vihila. So yeah, I just do dailies and sea slime first, and then after I do sea slime, that's when I transfer the links over to the boss mules, and I do all three boss mules. This will be the first time I take advantage of the magic stone slab. Oh snap, I'm about to let an arcane <laughs> box expire. Hey, no way. Um, it doesn't really matter what I get. Let me just go ahead and get gloves. Everything is pretty much even. That's kind of the goal of what I want to do with my arcanes. Boom. Terrible flame. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the magic stone slab, uh, this number is shared across the entire world, so for every boss mule and this character, I just have to use 400 of these points, I have nearly 1.2k, it doesn't even matter, I get nearly 200 a day off of dailies, and I only have to use it, to, like I can pretty much just use this across the week for all my bosses and for covert, so I pretty much permanently have um, an additional 25 boss and 25 IED, and plus it only costs me 95 per cast. Uh, not a hundred, so that's actually like even better. I think I could also do 2030, 
but um, I don't really... I think with the IED loss, my weapon, 25-25 uh, is something I would rather do. Um, I'll just do 25-25 for all my characters. They didn't record Covert, but I also used it for Covert last week, and... Uh, Ta-da! Where is it, dude? I don't, I don't even know. This is supposed to be from this week. Okay, um... <laughs> 7.68. It was a pretty good run, too, so... Like, everything was pretty well-timed. Uh, so I'm nearly about 7.7k with one singular set of Tim stats, which is this thing right here. Maybe I'll core the one, bef the one before the next reset for this episode. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully my, uh, hopefully this magic stone slab makes my life a bit easier, especially with the Dawn Warrior. If I can get my Dawn Warriors weeklies done in uh, sub 30 with this, then that would be splendid. Or if it comes even close to it. So I'll compare my last week's times. Uh, Arc 32 minutes, Dawn Warrior 38 minutes, Dark Knight 24 minutes. And see how it goes this week. We're also probably going to have to buy buff freezes on each of those characters. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and transfer Mesos and do that right now. Wait, Mesos already in here. Um, take out everything, just put in 30 mil. And then we're good. I'm going to go buy the freezers and then all of those characters should be set for bosses today. And I actually think I might end up at a 17 build flat, probably. That actually is just going to be the goal for a uh, before boss reset now. 17 build. Also, expiring Black Flame. I guess from last week's bosses. I don't even remember getting it, but <laughs> I got to throw on the cape. Uh... I like the same thing almost i feel like this might be better by like two stat roughly okay so here's what i think um these two values are pretty close i think this one overall gives like probably two more strength roughly um but the dex plays a pretty large value here and it makes the difference so literally because of this 36 dex i'm just gonna keep the top uh that's hilarious let's see this no, I think I lost. No, it was seven. Oh, I got a ring anyway. Didn't even matter. Nice. Great work. Dawn Warrior is finally done. It took me... It, it took me, like, 43 minutes, bro. That's actually five minutes longer than last week. I know I had to mess up at Lotus, but other than that, that that's really awkward. I could be Mark. <laughs> oh, that's something I can actually work on. Oh, that's sick. Now my Dawn Warrior needs to get one over good. Slower, it took like 35 minutes, but wasn't as big of a time gap as it done were you? Surely the Dark Knight will be good though, right? 7, 28 minutes. All my mules took longer, but I just think it's because I'm shit. That's it. And, uh, oh snap. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm not dead. We won't die. We're good. <laughs> Let's go, let's go straight to Gloom now. What? I mean, I might need it, but... Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, Damien. Boom. Let's go. Ba-bang. Oh! Okay. Got armor this week. What the heck? Bobby, thank you very much for the five months. I really do appreciate it. Welcome on back. Thank you for your continued support. I got a book. I'd be so mad. Nice. No armor though. Sad. Only got one this week. Ailey's time. Let's get this thing down to 15. Possible.
Oops, took you 16. Hey, I'm only halfway there. I'm gonna be stuck 14, 15 for like a million years. This could easily take like 15 tries and you lose so much mesos. Ooh, bro, I can't, dude. I gotta, I gotta try 17, 18 again, bro. Now, now I'm getting the hit. Now I'm getting the hit. I'm not supposed to do this. Hello, kid. What's up? We spares two more. <laughs> it's to balance out the cost for not being able to drop anymore. Dark Knight kicked your ass. Yikes! Slime rings got hands, bro. Slime rings got hands. Ah. Let me see 19, bro, please. <laughs> oh, it hit zero. <sighs> okay. Dang, dude, that was four nineteens. Why? I'm back to <laughs> fifty. Gotta go through this rodeo again. My God, bro. I missed. Oh my god, please beat the allegations, bro. Let's go! <laughs> oh! You already know it. We made a huge upgrade, so it's time to uh, mess around with this again. Uh, JB, what's up? I just 22 starred my buck slime ring. B. I'm 52k now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, I think I got up by like 700 off of the uh, the slime ring. So a pretty big gain, but not quite there just yet.
not quite there. Apparently I'm halfway to a 40 minute BM cut, so I could kill BM in 80 minutes if I had 80 minutes. No, that is not, no, I wouldn't. Kill skills, effective. Also, War 3, no wild nuts here. Now we're down to 49. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> So level 282 with 1.1x only brings me up to 58. Goodness gracious, dude. And it's that's like 40 minute cut, so I probably need to be in like the low 70s at bare minimum to even stand a chance of soloing, brother man. I mean, I played kind of scared after I died a couple of times. It could have been faster, but 13 minutes flight isn't too bad. What the in the world? Nice! Ah, oh, ooh, whatever. Man, I still can't believe it finally happened. What a freaking gorgeous looking rig. What you guys just saw there was a taste of some of the things that I usually do on my Luna character, AKA ridiculous off of vending and somehow hitting. But in this case, I've done a lot of off of vending and I've done a lot of not hitting until I finally hit. As cool as it was to get this ring to 22, uh, I do feel kind of bad because this wasn't the way I was meant to be playing this character and I did kind of suffer the consequences a little bit by spending much more mesos than I should have even spent to begin with. I think this ring took close to 50 bill. I want to say it's around the 45, 50 bill range, uh, very close to maybe like 47 bill. I even checked my Star Force cost earlier, and uh, I'll even check it again, but I'm pretty sure it's around like 200 and, uh, and 44 bill. Mm -hmm. So, ring and uh, I guess whatever pitch pause I had that blew up increased it by quite a bit. But you know what this means? Arcanes. That's it. As soon as I finish my arcanes, I am done. Now is the time I tell you guys about my gold mesos that I want to hit. And it's about 150 bill. And I'm sitting on 10 bill right now, and I have a 280 boss crystals. I've killed uh, Hard Dunkle and Chaos Gloom, but I have not sold those crystals yet. So as soon as I finish up my bosses for the week on this character and my boss mules, then I should be about like 20 bill. So making 10 bill a week, there's roughly 13 more weeks until I do hit that 150 bill quota if I do not grind within that time. So if I do not spend any mesos, or spend very little mesos, then the earliest I will hit 150 bill would be on, or the latest I'll hit 150 bill, will be on July 12th. That day, or rather July 13th in game, which is that Thursday reset. I'm hoping I can grind this character again, starting in June anyway. Um, just because that's when I finish the Miha, the Miha should be done by June. Plus we'll have like the summer update showcase and everything, and maybe they like my grind switch will really turn on depending on what we get. But um I should still have the mesos regardless whenever the summer shining does come around. And if it is somehow earlier than June 13th, then I'll probably still just try to grind to make up for the money that I will be missing. With 150 bill at 5 arcanes going from 19 to 22. I want to say that according to calculators and stuff, I probably have an 80% chance of hitting during Shining. 80%. Which is rather high, but that 20% could still creep up on me, so you never know. I'm going to 21 star everything before I go for any 22s. Just so I do still have like a damage gain in case one of the items do end up going wrong. But with today, 401. Which is actually kind of cool, because that means I hit the ring on day 400. 
Um, and the Sunday Maple for this week has been announced, and it's just two X portals and plus 50% Monster Park EXP. So the only thing I'm really gonna be benefiting from is the Monster Park EXP. I have 2k maple points still, so I'm probably gonna going to go ahead and use all seven of my Sunday runs this weekend for the extra EXP. There's only three hours left of dailies that I need to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those done. And then um yeah, after that, day 401 comes to an end. Today is also day eight of the Magic Stone Slab, which is the eighth day of EXP tickets. So after two more days, that will be completely done. Um, I thought about dropping the tickets on my Dawn Warrior. I still might do it just to make the Dawn Warrior stronger, but also at the same time, I wouldn't mind just, um, I'm sorry, it's day 9, not day 8. I must have missed a day somewhere else. My bad. It's day 9 on Magic Slab. Um, I thought about dropping the tickets on my Dawn Warrior, but I'm just like, what if I just want to use them all on the buck instead and the buck gets, uh, more levels sooner? Because levels on this character is the most important thing to be right now. When I was doing my stack conversion sheet for Black Mage, um, level 285 with 21 star arcanes is roughly the same as level 282 with 22 star arcanes. Um, which is actually kind of freaking crazy to me because, like, that's three whole levels just to make up for one star on the, all five of my arcanes. Um, so while levels are important, I, I would still much rather go for the 22 star arcanes rather than 285. And then once I get back to it, maybe this weekend or something, I'll actually go ahead and finish the rest of this character's weekly bosses. See if there will be some new and improved times. I think Dark Knell was okay, but I had a pretty scuffed run. Probably wasn't the best demonstration. So, I don't really know exactly how much of a gain I got from this ring, but I'm pretty sure this ring alone won't be like a game changer. But I really do feel like I did notice a damage increase simply off of 22 in this ring when I was doing my Dark Knell run. But anyway, time to get these dailies done. Skip through a little bit here. It's day 403. Um, I have half an hour left to do Culvert or else I'm not going to get the old skills. Today's Sunday Maple is plus 50% Monster Park EXP and also 2x Portal EXP as well. But forget the Portal EXP. Monster Park is all I did. I used up my 1500 Maple Points uh, on the extra Sunday runs, and I haven't even done my sack dailies yet, but I've already gone from 42.5 to 44.2, so 1.7 just off of Monster Park. Well, I've also done Tenebris as well, but I don't know. Okay, I turned them in. So I've done Tenebris and I've done Monster Park, but I haven't done my sack dailies. But anyway, I'm about to record this GPQ run with the... Uh, the magic slab let me swap out my resistance for my xenon and also including my 22 star slime ring as well i lost fatal strike hold on i also don't even have all my buffs what the heck am i doing anyway i need to look at the magic slab options because i'm pretty sure i just went 25 25 but uh i might have that's about for 30 minutes really um if i do five minutes of 40 Okay, I could do 40-20. You know, I'm gonna see if I can make this work. This is gonna be so goofy, though. I really wonder if I can actually pull this off. I mean, it's five minutes, so... Like, I should be fine. Screw it. Haven't used this in a while, either. This is gonna be such a waste. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm literally popping this just a covert. I mean, I could do some bosses right after, I guess. There's like an hour and a half until reset. Uh, definitely don't want to put them to, like, absolute waste. Um... I'm not sure what bosses I'd want to do though. I think I can maybe just go ahead and take care of Hila. I mean, if I do a boss, then actually no, I could just refresh this. I have so many more magic candies or whatever that I need to have, so I actually don't even care. So we're gonna go ahead and pop all of these, and then if we're gonna do a boss, we we'll just go ahead and pop that. And um, also try not to use my buff freezer. Actually, I'm I'm minding to buy another 10 pack for the week, and then I'll be the last buff freezer that I ever buy. So anyway, dice is set to five. Serpent stacks on. Roll the dice five five two. So we get that double five. Can't mess that up. Let me put over the deep on 51.4k stat. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> and then um, magic slab, five minute buff. Uh, 40 boss, 20 ID. And then, um, there we go. That's it. So does that put me at? Okay, okay. Let me, uh, go in now. 
Please don't mess this up. <laughs> I already messed this up. I just know it, dude. Just attack once. Good, we're good. Maybe soon, hurry up. That's going off. I don't even know if I have. Ooh, that fatal! Wait a second. Okay, hold on. Ever skill. Flag. A little bit slow on that. I don't think it's easy to V skill. Now. Lightning form for the final damage. Now I'm moving up a little bit. Uh, 10 seconds until Goddess in Epic Adventure. Probably also use Will Skill then, to be honest. Okay, it's at 4. That's when it procs, 64. Okay. Flag. Will. Let me give one closer look at when Fatal Strike procs, but I'm pretty sure it is around like 34 ish. Also, he's about to reset. Like, right now. Okay, yeah, 34. But I'll probably try to use Howling Fist by 6. Overdrive. Give me dash out of that. Don't know why I didn't. It's all good. Uh, AB buff immediately. AB buff. Roar. Go ahead, throw it off. I like this. Move over, dash. Yo! Yo! <laughs> point two. Jesus! That is a record of all records. Very, very good score. Nice. See, I told y'all I could pull it off. Finally, a good covert. I mean, last week was also good. This week, I... Might have been a little bit better. Plus the slimy upgrade, big stuff, big stuff. But I already did do, uh, Gloom and Dark now. Slime, I don't really want to do slime. So that really just leaves Vihila left. Um, Vihila, and then I guess with the <clears throat> remaining time on guild skills, I'm sorry, dang. I had to clean my throat there for a second. Um, but remaining time on guild skills, probably just do Lotus and maybe Damien. I, I don't know how long I'm expecting Vihila to take, but we just have to see. I'm gonna focus and concentrate. It's time. Guild skills. Use IED 1 2. I'm not running this time. And we begin. Yo, I don't know what happened, bro, but I'm him. This is crazy. This is bizarre. Oh, snap. I might not be him anymore. Hold on. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're just gonna kill it. Ah, hurry up. Okay, cool. If anything, Howling Fist is about to come back up, so that's gonna be the killer over here. Sub 14 minute run. Let's go off on him. This is ridiculous. I actually did a sub 14 minute hello run, bruh. <laughs> okay. We're going straight to Lotus afterwards. Oh, nice. I got five boxes I need to open. <laughs> Didn't even get chair buff, bruh. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and get this for Lotus and Damien, and then that'll be it. The heck's going on? <laughs> Hold on. Goodbye. Wow. Three and a half minute run. Gorgeous. Yes, that was three and a half minutes. I don't care. Ooh. I've died twice. It's been a minute and a half. <laughs> Need to relax. There goes all of my buff for you. I might actually lose my buff for you in this fight. I need to buy another pack of 10 to be safe. Or uh, Lucid and Will. Bruh. <laughs> I'm really gonna. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna survive more freezes for sure. This is. I should have stayed back there. Hi, <laughs> Petra. I patch run. I patch run. Hold on. We're almost done. Wow, this fight sucks. 
They means a horrible boss. They need to fix this boss. Okie dokie. Okay, it's 49 minutes to reset, and I still have it on my sack dailies. Uh, <laughs> I also need to do some more inventory management. Let's say get rid of most of these dawn items, uh, but you guys, I am going to keep this as a collectible because that is a reboot player mentality, I guess. This is going to make me so sad, but um, what must be done must be done. I am getting rid of the earrings and the marks. The Daybreak Pendants I'm going to keep for now, unless I just get too many of them, just in case I'd want to um, make one in the future for farming. I don't know why I would. I think that would be more suited. Actually, no, that's a stupid idea. I could just use my dome. Uh, <laughs> if I was really farming for like EXP and stuff, get a Spirit Pendant or something, then um, I could just use my dome with the Spirit Pendant while I farm for like the end game. Um, because if I ever finish the source one day, one of these days, if I ever finish the source, then, um, uh, the Dom would, uh, it would be farming gear, yeah. Slime ring? No. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm getting rid of everything, man. I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of Doms, I'm getting rid of slime rings, I'm getting rid of day ring penance. It's a whole cleansing out here. This is a clean Dom. Black bead marks? Uh... Still coping with those for Pat Mark fodder, so I'm not gonna get rid of them just yet. If I do get a Pat Mark in the future, then I just blow up the Black Bean Marks. They're gone! Yo, look at my inventory! Oh my goodness! Okay, well, first order of business. Also, I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> what? Am I gonna blow up the book? Like, what's that in there for? First order of business, I move this over to the side. Um, not really sure what this is doing here, but we'll work this out. Uh, Arcanes. Here, put the general right there. Um, I have three armor boxes. So I'm gonna make a shoulder, a cape, and a shoe. So let me go ahead and do that. Here, shoe. They're all at the bottom, so we'll just open them from that. Shoe, cape, shoulder, and then we will put them in the places that they are supposed to be in, and then lock them. Nice, 90 and 5 ints. I love magic. And then the two weapons. You go ahead and open these, put them up here, and uh, that's it. I should maybe like, yo, I should like wrap them around the armors, put them uh, put them over here like this, and then we got it. One of these days, I'm just gonna have a weapon stash that is fully circling around all of the armors. Oh, that'd be crazy. I'm not really sure how to feel. There's just more room now. That's it. Keeping the stash on here like this because this is where I swap between Meso and damage gear. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna have to wait for these slots to be filled up whenever I get more uh, arcane spares, I guess. If I get too many arcane spares, though, it's gonna start interfering with my drop gear and I gotta figure something out. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Ailies are done and reset just hit, but I turned everything in like 10 minutes ago, so it's all good. Uh, so I finally decided what I wanted to do for my Magic Slab VXP tickets, and that's on it. I want to go ahead and just use them all on here. I don't even care. The Dawn Warrior can just stay at 2.30. It is what it is. This is around the same amount of VXP as a Typhoon Potion, roughly. So, uh, yeah, I'm just getting a free Typhoon Pot. It would be... That means I gained 3.7% today. But it is day 404 now, and, uh... I'm gonna play a little later. Day 406, last day before the 20th anniversary, and the last day of the Magic Stone Slab event, which I have plenty of buffs I could still use off of this. I haven't even done dailies today. I'm just starting off with the boss meals first. Pretty much working in reverse, I suppose. I also wanna get these boss meals done too, starting with Ark. Um, couple bosses I wanna do first before I get to Lomian though. Only because my second pendant slot expired and I don't have any mesos in the storage. 
I also only have three buff freezers, so I'm gonna see if I can make these count because I don't wanna buy I don't wanna buy any more buff freezers. Oh, how stingy is that? I'll just do like a quick little age mag run first. So I can get my um necessary mesos needs to revive my pendant. I'm pretty sure I do not need a second pendant for hard magnus. Also, maybe I should have charged these before going in, but uh all good. Should uh, not worry about a thing. As soon as I bind and burst, he's pretty much gonna die anyway. Get that off, and then do this. Never good. Just like that. I'm buying a 30 day pendant slot the day before they make these permanent. It'd be like that. Okay, now it's time for the real bosses. I just have to get through them without dying any more than three times. I should be fine. Also, I'm not streaming, so the boss wants to be a little bit faster than expected. So, we'll see if I can get through all of them within half an hour with good play. So this will be a challenge for me. 30 minutes through bosses, don't die any more than three times, and uh, should be good. Freaking died to the push damage, because I was taking too much touch damage. Well, that's one death down. It happened again! Okay, I gotta buy buffies out of this boss. It's, it's too late, I don't even care. I, I failed miserably. I'm done, bro. I cannot believe this happened. If I die one more time, all my buffs are gone. I think something is wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm on the wrong lesion, too. That's cool. Because I saw my stat was really off, and I'm just like, what is going on? And then, bam. Wrong lesion. No one of the runs took so long. Okay, well, I gotta buy more freezes. And if I crash going into Damien or crash in Damien, then it'd be like that. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Looks like that 30 minutes is not happening. I did a pretty bad job at putting all my effort into the game because that's clearly what I did not do. I think I died in Damien like four times and I ended up using seven buff freezes total. Um, and it took me about 38 minutes to get through all the bosses. Of course. I mean, I was just chilling, I guess. Realistically though, it'll probably be a lot more like that just because I kind of just want to chill when I do my boss meals. I'd rather spend 40 minutes chilling than 30 minutes just paying full attention to the game, which says something about how much I enjoy doing these boss meals. <laughs> oh man, I'm just doing double over here next. That one might take a while. Oh wait, two potions. Let me use these. I might just use like one on two different characters. Just so I can uh, spread out my level a bit more since I'm 22 levels away from 8.5. Dual Blade and Shadower. Dual Blade. Fuck off. And then what was the rate on that anyway? Well, at least 25% here. It could have been 20% on 170. Doesn't even matter. Wow. Wonderful. I got three levels off two potions. Wow, that freaking sucks. Let me just do this Dawn Warrior now. I'm considering capping coins on this character a little bit during anniversary. Uh, a couple reasons. One, I use another event ring, and there is an event ring selector in the shop for 3,000 coins. And two, I can just cap doing arcane dailies and get a whole bunch of dailies done, get some extra set off of this, make this character stronger. Because if there's any character that I still kind of feel like I need to work on at the moment, it's this guy right here, because he's so much weaker than my other characters. Also, I want to get full abso, full five set abso on the arc. Uh, so after I finish everything that I need to do today, I'm going to be doing Scrapyard and Dark World Tree, probably on four freaking characters. No, I mean, no, no, not Dark World Tree. Just Scrapyard on four characters. Just so I can get the last two pieces I need for my, um, for my arc. Also, I need to transfer some more potions. That's a lie. I don't need to transfer any potions. They're all in here. Second pendant's alive. Buff freezers are alive. That's gotta be enough. I mean, my arc used seven. There's no way this character can use any more. Uh, <laughs> I should be completely fine. So yeah, just gonna fame this dude and get right to it. My dog over here got a pat mark. I wouldn't even have a black bean mark. This is... What? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry, it's done. Um, a minute longer than the arc. I I guess I'm just not taking these seriously anymore because it just seems like I had my set record times before the magic stone slapped some stats, but now they're just slower. Um, 
it is what it is, I guess. I didn't really slack on this character as much as I did on the arc, but... I don't know. Still thought I'd have a little bit of a faster time, but, um, yeah, I'm not too worried. All that is left now is the Dark Knight. Also, actually, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna tap this Pat mark, but I'm just gonna get it for 17. I don't even care. I could just off event 17, so it doesn't even matter. Wear it right away. Last time I did this, though, um, I got to... What do you call it? I got to 15 stars really quick. This is sort of the Dark Knights Domi. I got to 15 stars really quick, but the moment I even tried to go for 17, that was like 1.6 bill down the drain. Uh, let's hope the Pat Mark doesn't do the same thing. Try to start catching past 12, and then we'll see how much longer it'll be until it hits 15. Dang. This was a 1.9 bill start. So, like 360 mil ish in order for it to hit 15 stars. Not too shabby. Now wait till you see how much it takes to hit 17. Oh wait a second. Wait, it's already 17 stars. I lied. Okay, done. 800 mil. Uh, that's like almost a week's worth of mesos. We're just going to equip it right away. I should also reflame it, I guess. Chop a little bit on the flame. Um, I mean, the flame's not even like that bad at drop. It's 74. I could go for a higher, but like, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going for higher. There's no point. Uh, <laughs> if I have any e pots, I could probably slap it on there. Um, any e pots in the storage, you know, I'm, I'm lazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the uh, the e pot from the Legion shop and then just keep it for 9% with the occult cubes and then I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Um, how much of a gain was this in comparison? Wow. Um,. So not too bad, I guess. I mean, what's my range now? Okay, that's like a little bit of a gain. I'm 14.2k. My stat went up by probably pretty close to 200. Just about 200. And the the uh, the attack game was a bit good too. It's okay. This character actually needed some damage. Not sure if this was worth the 800 mil plus however much I spent the cult cubing, but Pat Mark's a Pat Mark. It's just so random. I'm gonna put the mesas of the storage now. All right, Dark Knight time. Last boss meal. I hopefully there is someone on at Zaka come over with the chair. All right, good. So just go ahead and get the 275 chair and then go to work. Uh, hopefully this one really doesn't take less than half or more than half an hour. I got everything I need, so should be good to go. 19 freezes on here, and they're all gonna get removed tomorrow. Dang. It seems like I get my boss times done the first week of this series without Tim stats, and I've just never been able to repeat it. I don't even know what's going on, but that's just how it is. This character took me around 26 minutes to do, which is two minutes slower than the first time I ran through bosses on it for uh, like this this part. That's lame. But it's all good. I can put my mesos in the storage now. The boss mules are done. My buck still has three bosses to go before all weekly bosses are done, though. All right, bucks dailies are done, and I did uh, bosses on top of my baby weekly bosses. But I. Hold on. What the heck? Yeah, why is it what? Why did the bosses say that I have all the bo- What in the world just happened? You know what? We just gonna let it slide. Um, I didn't do much. <laughs> I'm over here chipping out or something. Look, I know y'all saw that too. I know, I know I'm not crazy, bro. I know I'm not crazy. There's no way. Uh, anyway, not doing any more daily bosses because I only have three crystals left to sell for the week. Weekly bosses. We got these three guys left. And, uh, yeah, that's just that. Um, before I go with the slime, though, ta da, Hotel Arcus can hit level 8. Dude, I didn't even get to see how much that was worth. Let's just look at my inventory. That was like 700 mil, almost 700, 800 mil range. But on the bright side, I'm 51k stat. Pretty good. Very surprised, honestly being able to hit 51k without Tim stats and yeah, we're getting Tim stats next week so um I think that's gonna give me like an extra like 200 stat at least or something uh so that's another symbol worth and then in here in a couple of weeks within the next couple of weeks Cernium hits level 10 
and then with the temp stats I'll be at 51.5 now I don't think there's gonna be anything that I could do to get me to 52 no there's actually nothing I could do to get me to 52 <laughs> I'm gonna be so stuck as soon as like 22 more arcades man and then like I gotta go for the 30 percent it's gonna be a wrap but defense lines are being removed in tomorrow's update so uh, with the removal of defense lines I'm going to see if they update the cube rate so they increase the chances of getting stats it is not confirmed that cubing will be cheaper just yet but I will be looking at the probability notes as soon as the patch goes live to see if it is easier to roll for stat. If it is easier, then, um, well, I still need to finish my arcanes first, and then I can free the cube. Anyway, I mentioned that whole thing about Scrapyard doing on four characters tonight. It's 2.30 in the morning, and I still got three hard bosses left to do. I'm not doing that tonight. Literally everything is done except for these three bosses and yes i'm still doing chaos slime because it's like 540 mil more than uh the normal slime and i think that's worth the time what the heck um oh, it's so really fast to run. i i mean it's not over yet but like hmm let's see if it heals please don't heal oh my god i swear oh that was a toy a 20 minute slime run, huh? I'll be granted, I did use a spilling buff this time around just because I felt like it. I was making the, uh, the wet stones anyway. Uh, but even with the spilling buff, Jesus, I- wow. That was so fast. That was so incredibly freaking fast. And I- drop gear. Who cares? Oh, just break the thing. You, you finished the ring already. Who cares about drop gear? Just break it, get my items, and then go. I'm leaving. Just gonna go straight to Lucid. Should wash it with the guild skills. Not within the guild skills, but it'll get me pretty far. Alright, ah, dang it, dude. I've already died enough in this fight, man. I, I can't even heal. Oh, oh, great. Okay, wonderful. Um, I still can't heal. There we go. Where's Lucid? Right here. Okay. Don't, don't do middle. Please. Actually, here's something I do want to actually know. We're just going to see this. Ah, right, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, that, that, that hit her enough. We should be good. I don't even know why I'm worried about this phase. This phase is jokes now. Now, I'm pretty- dude, I seriously feel like I do more damage in the middle, though. I haven't actually done a BA to compare the two, but I really do feel like I do more damage in the middle for some reason. Now, this boss, I do need my drop rate for it. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Oh, nice! Yo, what is- Yo, I've been getting some armors like crazy recently. Been a pretty good a couple of weeks. Alright, last boss. Will. And then I'm going to bed. I'm recording the rest of this video tomorrow when I wake up. Using the absolute final magic stone slab buffs. Bit of time. What a horrifying performance. Jesus. I don't remember the last time I've completely webbed in in this fight. I mean, I didn't completely web in. I still had that little one spot, but like, dang, that was way too close for comfort. I had one accidental death because I thought I could dodge a uh, move by up jumping in place. <laughs> I've done these bosses how many times now? Okay. Nothing. Nice. Sell the crystals, 2.1 bill, 19.4. I'd be over 20 bill, but I had to level up that one symbol, but hey, it is what it is. I am going to bed. Uh, the game will probably be down by the time I record some more stuff, but it's time to get back to that checklist. So I'll be going over that tomorrow. I actually haven't seen this in so long. Um, so it's a little weird to look at it again. So um, let's go ahead and go through some things. Ring of Restraint. I still want to get this. Hopefully, I get it someday. Um, but if not, I really don't think it's necessary to get it. This is kind of like going through with um, like the maximum possible things I can get. I still don't think I'm going to keep my Awake Ring for 30, so I'll leave it as is. And over here, it's just maybe replaced with 18-star ET, which will give me a pretty good gain. But 
I need to defeat the pitch boss items. Uh, I made that apparent with my dreamy belt. Where is the belt over here? Ah, we're hoping to replace with this white two-star GP belt. It's so sad. It's gone. But here, finally, dude, it's so difficult to actually take one of these items off. Just because I got to get through the star forcing. So I'm very, very happy that today I'm actually able to take that off because the slam ring is completely finished and that does not need to be touched anymore. Um, I mean, I say star forcing, but there's roar four uh, that doesn't really involve any star forcing, but you get the idea. Uh, dummy. Okay, no, like this is already good as is. I'm just over here coping for a source. Uh, Daybreak in Meister. I got a recube for 30. Um, Arcane weapon. Oh, I have to 22 it. I it has a real three line now, so this is pretty much done aside from the Star Force. Uh, the belt is checked off. I'm going to uncheck it off because I don't have the other uh, thing. Uh, CRA hat. Oh, I cube 30% on here. Right. I could check that off too. Okay. So I untick the belt just to tick the CRA hat. So that's nice. Um, toilet mark. Uh, we're going to untick that just because. Like me, Mark, we're also going to untick that just because because that's not really like a quote unquote completed slot. Um, items that are ticked off are basically just straight up completed slots. And I don't have to worry about that single slot anymore ever. Anything else can still have upgrades, whether it's the dream of getting pitch boss or having to recube the potential from 27 to 30, which I'm not going to be doing until my arcanes are done Star Forcing anyway and all that fancy stuff. Um... There's also some flaming that I still have to do, but that's just how it is. So we got top and bottom, which don't have the right potentials. Also probably have to reflame those. Um, I got to reflame a lot of things. Unsick of stellar earrings. Sad. Um, all through. All good. All good. All good. Emblem. Yeah, seven day badge is like the final upgrade I'll make once literally everything is done. Because that is... Um, what is it? That That's 105 build just to get two set on the Monster Park set. So yeah, nah. <laughs> Very hard, 30%. Uh, this isn't really necessary. Like, it's the easiest item to use 30 or to cube for 30% on. But I don't have to do that. Because I'm going to be using Black Hearts for the runs anyway. Uh, Reach 8k Legion. Oh my goodness. Where do I like... Just like strike through with this. Yo, where the checklist option? Make this a checklist. Done. Um, 282 is the goal. After deciding a lot, 282, I think level 282 is the absolute goal level that I want to hit to accept this VM solo. Wait for power creep update. I'll be right with this now. Yo, a summer update, June 10th. June 10th showcase. We're going to see something crazy. So the whole scrapyard journey that I wanted to do to finish my Arc Zapsos, uh, that's going to have to wait for a little bit. So yeah. And then judging by the rest of this list, holy crap, there's a lot of things that just are not checked off. Only because I'm coping that I get Pitch Boss suit on them. Like I said, um, the slots that I'm checking off are going to be slots that I feel like I'm completely done with. And even then, the emblem... The emblem isn't even technically done, I feel like. I gotta get, I gotta get like, three-line attack if I want to be real serious about the emblem. But we're just going to leave it as is. Going to replace Fairy Heart with, um, Black Heart. Black Heart, three in storage. And then we're just going to check that off. Because I really don't have to touch that Fairy Heart anymore. So yeah, still got so much to do. And I only have, like, what, 19 build to my name? Bruh. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm hoping come summer... Uh, okay, so judging by what I have currently, um, Arcane should all be 22 this summer, but the only thing, hopefully, after Shining, uh, if there is Shining in the summer. So that's kind of what I'm hoping that would happen. Um, I would only be able to take off the weapon. And then everything else, I'd have to reflame and recube before I could take those off as well. Um... I haven't really put in my cubing order just yet of items I want to recube. Items that are getting replaced by pitch are probably going to stay at 27. Um, but also with the removal of the defense line in this next patch, uh, we'll be able to see if they increase the chances of rolling stat lines on equips. And if they actually did through the probability website, then um, cubing is going to be a lot easier. Um, probably like 
15, 20% easier for most items, which is absolutely massive. So it'll be interesting to see what I interesting to see what I finish next moving forward. And that'll be it for this episode. I can't really get back on that game because well, the game's down. Thank you all so much for watching. Episode 3 will take place starting with the 20th anniversary and my plans for the anniversary on top of just maybe some other things that I might end up doing as or I might end up doing as well. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.